In this video, you will learn how to run Facebook ads using the sales objective. So if you're a business owner who wants to sell your product or service, a marketing agency who wants to promote a client's product or service, or you are just a beginner who is learning Facebook ads, then you need to watch this video to the end so that I don't miss any important steps. In case you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Popka Innocent. On this channel, I teach step-by-step -step tutorials on how to run Facebook ads instagram ads and tiktok ads so if you're interested in learning social media marketing the right way then go ahead and subscribe to the channel click on the subscribe button below turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss my next social media marketing tutorial have you done that now all right let's continue log in your meta ads manager click on the create button it will take you to the different campaign objectives for the purpose of this video we are going to be using the sales objective so i will select the sales objective and click on this continue button down below at the campaign level you need to set your campaign name so you are going to edit this campaign name and call it sales ad so after inputting your campaign campaign name scroll down this is campaign details this campaign details have already been generated when you selected your campaign objective okay scroll down you will see budget strategy for budget strategy i will use ad set budget scroll down i will be using ad set budget for this particular ad so i'll select ad set budget okay then the campaign b strategy i'll leave it at highest volume i am not doing a b test i'm using just one campaign right so scroll down and down below you will see this next button click on next now at the ad set level you will see still name your ad set use the same name you use for your campaign scroll down you will see conversion location this is where you want to send your prospect to whenever they click on your ad you see website and calls there's a drop down button right here click on the drop down button and you see other options here then if you scroll down you will see another option this is where a lot of persons miss out app message destinations and calls now to select whatsapp you will select message destinations when you click on message destinations the message destination we show here like this scroll down you will see facebook page next select the facebook page you want to run your ad on for the purpose of this video i want to use my page innocent pop car but if you don't want to use the page that's showing here there is also a drop down button here click on the drop down button and you see all the page that you have all these pages are not mine i'm managing ads for a lot of persons so that's why you're seeing their pages there now if you scroll down you will see that the message destination has messenger whatsapp and instagram but for the purpose of this video i want to send them directly to whatsapp so i will select manual destination here click on manual destination you will see that messenger is checked here but i don't want to send people to messenger i'm using a single destination so i'll uncheck messenger and leave it on whatsapp business when you leave it on only whatsapp business all the prospects will come to this single destination okay in case you have not linked your whatsapp business number to your facebook page there is a step-by-step -step video on how to connect yours the link will be at the description of this video scroll down now take note of this performance goal you will see maximize number of conversations here this is what i will select if you click on this drop down button you will see maximize number of conversions now if you're running sales ad or sales campaign and you are using websites as your conversion location they're expected to use maximize number of conversions if you read down below you will see where they wrote we will try to deliver your ads to the right people to help you get the most website conversion down below here you will see maximize number of conversations and they say we will try to show your ads to people most likely to have a conversation with you through messaging so since we are using whatsapp business as our conversion location we are expected to use maximize number of conversations you understand the difference now but if you're using websites if you're sending these prospects to websites to your sales page then you're expected to use maximize number of conversions i hope you get the difference right okay so scroll down you will see cost per result go leave it empty then the next thing you need to do is to set your budget and schedule now i'm going to be using ten thousand per day for my budget if you don't have up to ten thousand naira per day for your ad budget you can use five thousand naira you can use three thousand naira as a start sometimes you will see this right up you may not get any conversations with this budget try increase it to at least twenty two thousand naira this caution is not always true okay like you can see they say may so it's probability ignore this and go ahead to set your ad with ten thousand naira for sales depending on your setup so just ignore and go ahead to set up your ad okay now the next thing is schedule 
know you can run the ad continuously and turn it off when you want to turn it off or you can set an end date to so set an end date click on this end date there is an edit button here click on this edit button and you will see set an end date click on set an end date and you can now set when you want your ad to run like this is 13th of october so you count how many days from this day when your ad is starting and you set it then this is the end time after setting your end date scroll down scroll down and the next thing is audience now i have done several audience targeting for different business model fashion business real estate affiliate marketing name them so i will link all those videos at the description of this video so that you can go ahead and watch the one related to your business if your business is not there just comment on this video and i will do a separate audience targeting for your business okay so let's move on the next thing is placements for placement the advantage plus placement is on but i want to use manual placements so you will see edit button here click on the edit button for some ad accounts you will see show more settings you click on show more settings you'll be able to set your placement manually for devices and operating systems you can click on this edit button and you will see all mobile devices click on the drop down button now you can select the device you want if you want only android then select android only if you want both ios and android then leave it at all mobile devices i want both of them so i'll leave it at all mobile devices then for platforms there's an edit button right here depending on the country you're targeting i'm running this ad for nigerian south africa and ghana so i will be leaving it at facebook i will uncheck instagram because the ad budget is not much i'm using only 10,000 naira. so i will uncheck messenger and i will also uncheck audience next. then scroll down this is the placement control now i'll leave it at this nine placements then scroll down okay it's expandable to this level at the bottom here you will see this next button click on next edit the name of your ad use the same name you use for your campaign and ad set then scroll down partnership ad or for identity the page has already been selected at the asset level so you don't need to select anything here again scroll down you will see ad setup for ad setup i will be using an existing post that i've already posted on my page i will click on this drop down button here when i click on it i will select boost content okay for some ad accounts you will see use existing post okay use existing post and boost content are the same thing right now you can uncheck this um, multi advertisers ad what this means is that meta is going to show your ad alongside other ads that are in the same ad unit to help people discover your product more okay but if you don't want your own to show along with others you can turn off this okay scroll down you will see ad creative so click on select content to select your ad creative now you need to select your content from your facebook page this is the content i want to use i will select this content right now when you select it scroll down and you will see this continue button down below after clicking on the continue button your ad creative video will show here if you are using image too you see all the images here for your call to action leave it at send whatsapp message so that they will click on the whatsapp button and message you on whatsapp okay then scroll down and you will see tracking this tracking is going to be done by meta you don't need to set up anything here but if you are running sales ad to a website then you need to set your pixel okay i've done a separate video on how to generate your pixel code and set up on this channel so i will link it at the description of this video if you want me to create a sales ad to a website or a sales page then drop a comment below and if much people are interested i will create a separate video on how to run sales ad directly to a website now go through the ad preview and if everything is okay with your ad you click on this publish button to publish your ad 